Lynchburg Regional Airport, information Tango, time 1554 Zulu, wind 120 at 4, visibility 10, sky 2300 scattered, ceiling 6000 broken, 8500 overcast, temperature 26, 2.19 or altimeter 3006. When we fly in use, expect the ILS approach. Alright, so we got the uh, ATIS 121.9, we're on 2 talking to 2. Let's break ground, Saratoga 8455 Foxtrot. Saratoga 8455 Foxtrot, Lynchburg ground. Yes ma'am, over here on the uh, north ramp front of Bonaire, information Tango, want to pick up the eye for a clearance to Martinsville. And Saratoga 55 Foxtrot, you're clear to the Martinsville airport as filed after departure. Turn left hitting 010, climb and maintain 4000. Departure control frequency for Ronak 135.0, squawk 7036, stand by for read back. Call in Lynchburg Tower, say again. Stand by for read back. So we're as filed. So. And uh, Bonanza 3, Echo Seal, I'll try to put uh, Whiskey T4 in sight. Awesome. And 5-5 five, five, Foxtrot, go ahead with the lead back. Clear to Martinsville as filed, left turn 010, 4000 feet, 135.007036, 5, five Foxtrot, information Tango. Air Commander Kinnan or Victor Mike, runway 4, clear to land. And 5-5 five, five, Foxtrot, your clearance read back is correct, device and ready for taxi. Ready for taxi, 5-5 five, five, Foxtrot. Alright, so 2 1. Did you see you were ready? Yes, ma'am, ready for taxi. 5 5 Foxtrot. In November 5 5 Foxtrot, runway 4, taxi via Bravo, lunch productivity 3006. Runway 4 via Bravo, 5 5 Foxtrot. Okay, we're ground 276 here, Alpha. Uh, at the south ramp of information, Tango, ready to taxi. Sky 6 here, Alpha, runway 4, taxi Tech via Delta and uh, Bravo, lunch productivity 3006. Uh, taxi area is clear. Bravo to runway 4. Uh, 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 and it will do the steering check and the turn coordinator check. Bonanza 3 Echo Sierra, frequency break, change of course. Break. Both brakes, you have the controls. I have the controls. Have the controls. There's my left brake. There's my right brake. There's both. Okay, you have the controls. Have the controls. You have the controls. Alright, steering. Working. No. Turn Is coordinator. Turn right, to the the left. Left. Yeah, the for departing traffic. Do I have that clear? Missing this hole. That angle good? Oh, nope. Liberty 10. Nope. Back left. There you go. Liberty 108. There you go. Clear. Clear. Back. Thank you. All right, taxiway is clear. All right, brakes. Steering to the right. Good. Turn coordinator. Good. Back. All right, so I'm gonna turn this to the 211. I'm going to turn this to runway heading 4. Sky 705, linear from Lynchburg Tower, four, four, number two. Yeah, yeah, feel good. Alright, good. Bravo's clear. What does that wind sock look like to you? Looks like a direct crosswind to me. Looks like it's favoring 2-2 two, two, more than 4. Since we're so close to Martinsville, would you go ahead and load the approach plate? Yes. For Martinsville? Yes. Alright, so we hit we'll procedure. We'll do that here. we got plenty of time. Oh, well, you can focus just on taxi. Liberty 108, runway 4, click for takeoff, make left post traffic report, Mr. O'Dowling. You can really focus on programming, that way you don't accidentally mess up. Gotcha. It's like texting and driving, but different. But the same. Georgia and coastal water. 
Plenty of time, no rush. We don't have any deadlines to meet. That's right. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in the next couple of hours. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get some action in I got a deep popper. <laughs> Hold your pinky out. Turbulence for North Carolina. South Carolina, Georgia. Sky 705, Lumi Uniform, fly runway heading, runway 4, clear to take off. some of my ship partners too that it's important to note what this huge school is doing. It's not my main decision maker. But if I'm out here and they're out here, sometimes I feel a little more content. Because their safety uh, margins are huge. Four, four, nine or tango, Lynchburg, uh, tower. But some of my new guys, I tell them, hey, if you're going up flying on a flight and every single aircraft they have is parked, I'll put in a hanger. Yeah. You need to rethink your decision. <laughs> do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Bonanza, okay, so we'll do the front first, then we'll go back to the uh, checklist to make sure it's all gone. Uh, Travel's going to be a little uh, uh, neutral. Uh, we'll look East for the uh, first uh, 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 flaps in. And we're on the fullest tank. Oh, and I turned this off. Okay. All right, we're going to put the uh, broken brake on. All right, the mixture's full, prop is full. We're going to shoot for 2,000. Nobody's behind me, everything's nice. Speed on the brakes. There's 2,000. Back to throw. Alright, we have a fall and we have a rise. A fall in the uh, RPMs, the rise in the pressure, the manifold pressure. We have a fall in the oil, on the oil pressure. Why? And then there's nothing from the windscreen to fall on the oil pressure because it's used in the oil to change the uh, pitch on the prop. Right. Yeah. Alright. So we got uh, three in the green. Decorate there first. And I got about a hundred. About a hundred. Back to both. Check the left. About a about hundred. There's no difference in between. Can't have more than, I think it's 50 in between. Back to both. Alright, yeah, we got we got suction, we want to make sure that's working. Then we got the auxiliary sucker, we might go into IFR conditions. Alright, the autopilot on, and it's pulling to the left, which is correct, and I can override it. Autopilot off. Alright, we're in the green, we're in the green. Everything's still on, I'm going to turn the alternator off. I'm losing it, I got the light, I got the light. Okay, everything's back on, and the alternator's climbing back up. Alright, I've got to... I got lights, lights, and I got lights. All right, I'll check there, and then we're coming across. We got this set to two one one, and we got this yeah, set to uh, runway eight. Runway heading. four. Clear Let's clear actually turn that to uh, zero one zero. Is that the way you would do it? Okay. All right. Um, and let's check, we're, yeah, that's the main part. Um, so we're uh, south of 15. Now after you set that, do me a favor and set a timer. Set a timer. All yeah. Right. Just make, right. make sure it's set. set. Go. Uh, uh, it's a middle button. There you go. There you go. And we'll just see how long it takes to go to five degrees off. All right, so we're set there. All right, this is three zero zero six two four and six. All right, uh, that's set. We're gonna set this to two one one, and then we're gonna come across. We're squawking and we're counting. Uh, we're gonna select approach since we're so close. So select approach. We're gonna do the R nav at the three zero, uh, and we'll do a uh, we're going to U Lake. That's right. But we'll load it. We don't yep. want to activate it. All right. There it is. And load the route. Alright. That's set. Let's go ahead and switch over to tower. 127.65. Uh, 
Alright, so this is got traffic up. Um, there you go. Alright, so on that screen, that's good. Alright, the fan's on, AC's off, all breakers are in. Uh, lights are off. Do we have them on? We're gonna be in the clouds. We uh, in general, alternate air. I will turn them on if I'm going high for them. Let's do it then. That's, I want to follow the rules. You have to know what you know. What that'll be yeah, that'll, that'll dim down. As soon as you turn, as soon as you turn that upper one on. Yeah. For the radios. Five six zero alpha contact run up one three five point zero. I guess I'll be dark on it. We'll leave those on. Well, you can leave that one on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Your nav lights. Yeah, they're can, on. Can be on. Right. I mean, there's no point in having them in here, but your nav lights can't be on. All right, back down to a thousand. All right, the flow is complete. Go back over here. We did the the trim, the flaps, the fuel selector, the parking brake, the prop, the mixture, the throttle. Uh, we exercised the prop. We got the lights on, the magneto check, the vacuum check, oil temperature, oil pressure, electric fuel pump, electric flow. Uh, or the, I'm sorry, the fuel flow. We got fuel flow. We got the uh, annunciator panel. Uh, we did the uh, attitude indicator, that's good. Uh, the HSI, we did that. Uh, the altimeter is set, the CDI is set, radios are set. Transponder, we're squawking, air conditioner is off, uh, breakers were checked, alternate air was checked, throttle was retarded, and uh, seatbelts are on, harnesses are on, controls are free. And parking brake is off. All right. All right, so then the uh, takeoff is uh, uh, flaps are set, tab is set, and we're going to accelerate uh, between 74 and 80, and then we're going to pull back on the wheel. Okay. All right. So we're talking to tower. You want the examiner or you want the instructor? I want the instructor today. Okay. Not the examiner, okay. so don't turn the heat on, don't start screaming at okay. me. I won't. All right, you wanna? You can leave the fan on, but you wanna catch the door for me? Okay. Six five five and answer four four nine and Tango is full well inside. All right. Then answer four four nine and Tango, Roger. Frequency change approved. Thank you, help. Four nine Tango. Thank you. You're welcome. And Tyler, Saratoga eight four five five Fox Drive, ready for takeoff runway four. Columbia to we all ready? They're ready. Scattered rain showers, embedded thunderstorms. Sarah Tiger 8455 Foxtrot, Litchford Tower, runway 4, cliff takeoff. Five runway heading for now, let you know when you can turn left on 010. Left takeoff, runway 4, runway heading, you'll let me know when to turn 010, 55 Foxtrot. Okay, final, clear. Alright, what's your next three things? Runway's clear. And we're entering runway four, see it on the pavement. Um, let's check the HSI against the uh, runway heading. Yeah, we'll reset that timer too when you when you do that. Because I have a feeling it may have moved a little bit, but we, have, we weren't technically flying, so I'm not going to precess as bad. <laughs> yeah. Runway heading. Oh, no, it's only on five degrees. Hit reset. There you go. All right, but, uh, one sock, little from the left, not much. All right, right rudder, heels on the ground. Little from the right. Yeah. All right. Airspeed's alive. Good power. Already hit. Clear. There's 74. Pull back. A little bit more right rudder. Back on the power just a touch. We've got a positive rate of climb gear up. All right, so now you're on a runway heading until she tells me. Right, so you're going to leave your heading bug over on zero zero, one, zero. and you're just going to use your. Uh, All right, cool. I'm good for that. All right, we're up. We've got a guy 800 above us, really close. In November got five, five, box, right, no uh, restriction on the runway heading at your discretion. Turn left heading zero one zero. My discretion is 0105 five, Foxtrot. Alright, uh, 1500 feet, I'm going to take the flaps out. Let's go, Tower. Liberty 10S. Alright, we have uh, traffic made. Okay, I think it's got Benko. 
Five zero. 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 Five Sarasota A455 Foxtrot, Rona, departure, radar contact, climb and maintain, or maintain 4000. Climb maintain 4000, 555 Foxtrot. What speed are you climbing at today? Oh, I should probably be climbing at 990 knots. We're going to climb now. There you go. Not too aggressive. Hundreds are not bad. I mean, it's, uh, it's a trail. If you want to do that cruise climb, but it's pretty smooth right now. If it wasn't smooth, I'd probably drop the nose down a little bit. Zero one zero hitting to four thousand. All right, so we're taking the sure, climb. Five 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 stop turn left heading two three zero vector for the climb. Two three zero vectors for the climb. Five 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 shot. Two three zero. Alright, so we're going to go in, so make sure you... Oh, I got blocked here. No, uh, make sure you get your scan going. Okay. I'm at 95, I want to stay there since I can already go into this. I'm going to stand it right turn, and you put a little bit more right rotor in. Uh, that's the 6 here also, I've joined Victor 16, and did you want to... Yeah, here we go, we got 500 feet to go. At, uh, at MF, I just... It's going to beat us around a little bit. bit. It's not Oh, we'll take the maneuver on our own within a five mile radius. Alright, there's 35, 4. Not too bad. 11, 6, you're on fire. In that case, uh, proceed direct hand of, maintain 6,000, you just remain within five miles of heaven. Direct hand of, maintain 6,000, we'll stay within five miles of heaven. 2, 7, 6, you're on fire. I'm in it, uh, 13. It's already precessed. So, right there. It's already precessed, 10 degrees. Did it? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to take that out, we're going to take it out. 555 Fox, drop turn left heading 200, join Victor 143. 200, join Victor 143, 555 Fox, drop. 200, join Victor 143. Alright, so here's why I don't know what to do. Well, we messed we, up from the get-go. Why is that? Well, what's driving the plane right now? Of course you are, but what are you navigating with? Okay, what is that? What's uh, driving that? My HSR, my gyro. I mean, my, uh, your course. What, what yeah, course are you flying? What is Victor 143? What is that? It's an air ray. Air, airway, what, what does it come from? Remember, 55 clock shot. Martinsville weather is available. 118.45. Just uh, when able, say request for the person. Uh, 118.5, and uh, we want to request the RNAV GPS to 3055 clock shot. Left to 191. Alright, left to one. Left to one. Uh, five, 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 shot. Rado, proceed. Direct U Lake for the approach. Direct U Lake for the approach. Five, 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 shot. Well, he hooked you up there. But we're going to go ahead and go through this part. Okay. 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 What? 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 Runs. Remember, sir. Uh, uh, yes, sir. We look to the right, so Whiskey 91 and then pick up the uh, GPS for 2 3. Keep it a little slow. Number six, I could do it. Say position. Yeah, we're position. Just, uh, six miles to the north. <laughs> west now of uh, Lynchburg. Uh, uh, so, and what? Uh, go be a part of it. Yes, a second. I'm slow on now. I'm sorry. Number six, uh, Echo Juliet, squawk zero one one six. Zero one one six. He gave us direct view lake, but it's a straight shot once we hit the VOR, so... All right. Plus, we'll hit this rain cloud right here, but... Lay us off. Uh, 15. Move it when you're ready. Okay, so I got that set to 191. I got the heading set to 191. And we're going to the VOR at 4000. I've got the power set. We're good on our temp. Um, and then number six, Echo Juliet, radar contact five miles northwest of the okay. airport. Okay, what? Run, 
When they say Victor 143, uh, where does that come from? Uh, six seconds the radio seven. for Lynchburg. Oh, I mean, what, what makes that radio? Uh, Lynchburg, Lynchburg, what Lynchburg, what? Lynchburg, we're going to be on. Okay. What's running your instrument right now? Uh, the GPS. Five, so should I be in this? Yes. Yes. Over here as well. Yes. Now, hit flight plan. Flight plan, yep. Now, your turn is going to be what? Oh. Uh, 216. It's pretty much a street shot, right? 216, 205, we're 52 miles away from U Lake. Yeah. 710, leave me in a form of saying 10. We're going to cross over to VOR, and you're going to turn to what? Uh, go left and 216. 216, go ahead. Uh, we have tango. Leave it there. How do you know when you cross over the VOR? Yeah, I went like the, this. When I get the two to four flip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, we we'll uh, take out uh, back there for the first We cross over. Uh, we get the two to four flip. What are you going to turn to? Uh, 216. Oh, what now? Oh. We're crossing over the VOR. Oh. Right? Yeah. There's the two to four flip. 30 degrees past it. Oh, 30 degrees past it. Oh, you're okay. 30 degrees past it. Oh, right past it. No, leave that there, but we're going to fly 30 degrees past it so right, we can so intercept the course. If we didn't, we would just parallel it the whole way. I got you. I need to set this two to 216. Yep. All right. Yep, see how the line moved over? Yeah. And now we got a from. So we're going to go 30 degrees past it. And it's going to start to come in. Okay. So now we're we'll flying this away. I'm going to watch this one. There it goes. Start turning, it's more than half scale. Start turning back to 210. Alright. Or 216, I'm sorry. That makes sense to you? I got you, yeah. Because we got to turn back into it. Yeah, well, if we did, if we didn't turn in 30 degrees past it, and that's just a general rule of thumb. Yeah. If we didn't, we would just parallel it. We'd never intercept it the whole way. Okay. And now I'm going to chase it. Alright, so we, uh, we're on a uh, two, uh, two, two. Ten degrees out, eight minutes. More than ten degrees so out. That's why I'm chasing minutes. that thing now. Yeah. So we're with flight uh, straight and level on two, two, zero right now. Yeah, go. All right. And that, now, the, now the reason why these are not deadly accurate with each other is because we're on a VOR, and that's not accurate. Well, that's... yeah. Alright, so... I checked your VOR, um, Friday. I know I gave you post-it notes, they were in here. Check here. I did. They were in there earlier. I know. Okay, so, Martinsville, 18845, 0 I'll be listening for that. Alright, how often do you have to check your VOR? Every 30 days. Uh, you gotta record it. Where can you check it? On the uh, the VO the VOT the v, um, VOR test on uh, at Lynchburg on the ground, or you can uh, you can check it on a uh, on a radio um, and see if these two at, at altitude are reading the same within six degrees. So essentially anywhere, uh, and then the CTAP is one twenty two point seven. Essentially anywhere. Yeah. yeah. But uh, how do you know where a VOT checkpoint is located? Uh, in the AFD. In AFD. Alright, so we're good on our temp. We can pull that back just a hair. A power. I almost want to go like this, Thomas. Because we know that thing's going out. One, two, three, one, two, three. I almost want to make you look at the compass more, and I think you will drift less. I don't have a post-it note. No, I don't want to do that. I know you don't. I know. Okay. So, we got our compass. 
Uh, you gotta think, I'm dragging it. So what, what heading did you want? Uh, 216? 216 heading. So it's, so it's about right there. So... I need to get to the left end. Uh, you got a little bit of wind drift in here too. Right. Right. You gotta think about your wind all the time. Is it, if we're getting a win, that's a zero baby uniform to that way or that way, way, way to it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so at U Lake, where's my uh, uh where's U Lake? Three thousand that one really point out right now you're doing amazing. Look at that. Four thousand feet, straight and level. You're doing this dance routine trying to follow that HSI. You will review it in the video, I'm sure. Yeah. But it's like boom now. Alright, so we're so at U Lake, we're gonna uh, turn left, right? Left at 215. Uh, off. Yeah, it's off. Okay. I've got a trail. That's smooth up here, like smooth. Uh, you can never be. Uh, yeah, so we're in the uh, big ticket, Julia. We're going to do one mile. I am. Uh, I am yeah. just a little right of my course. Right 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 yep. Just, just, what you do is, Turn it, turn it to uh, standard way, count 1,000, 1,002, and then level it off. That's a 7 0 alien at 400 departure and the contact saying that I'm making a level off. There you go. Now, it'll, it'll, I'm not plugging your camera, but it'll walk its way back. Alright, I see it's coming back. That, it'll dance around once you dive down, you can see about 215. This is going to be about perfect. Um, maintain uh, 3,000 and uh, turn right heading 090 vectors for the uh, car. Crazy, I've never had a student form with that. Back up the star, we're actually using the HSI. Yeah, I think the HSI is going to crash. Yeah, yeah you're, sitting, you're kind of chasing it. You said, I don't want to do that. <laughs> now that you've done it, I feel more stable. <laughs> so, I feel it though. So, the first thing we do, talk about VORs. How do you know? We're using this one now, right? We're watching this one. Yeah, so this one's a boot point to us. Yeah. How do you know you're on the much more VOR on this one? How have you tuned and identified it? Center Saratoga 8455 Frost Drive is level 4000. 4000. 555 Frost Drive. 8455 Frost Drive. Center and Dan Rill. Altimeter 3005. 3005 Frost Drive. I've been saying that 5000 so long after. That's probably going to be a habit to break. Okay. It goes a lot higher than that. Alright, so let's go back to that weather. See if we can get it.
This is on the Lynchburg VOR. Alright, so we know that that's on the Lynchburg VOR. Okay, we got the Lynchburg VOR is 1.0.1, so it's not, is it? This one wasn't either. Yeah, it's not either. Alright. So I was wondering why we were still to the right of the line. No, that's the localizer. Oh. I'll go 4037 and then yes. you can, um, the VOR 1092. Oh, so you see this? This is what I want you to see right here. Well, the Morse code, yeah. Okay. That's the VOR, and that was the localizer, right? Yeah, okay. So, look, this one identified it at Forest. The 430, to my knowledge, does not do that. No, it was up there, wasn't it? That the 109.2 was already there. Yes. So, there's my Morse code. Uh, I have to. What's that guy talking? Is that the high loss? Yeah. There is the H. Increasing coverage and intensity over Alabama, Florida Panhandle, Florida Peninsula, Adiga, Gulf, Waters, I thought you got one or the other. There it is. Center, weather advisory, three, 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 so we've tuned and identified it, right? Okay. That, that was the nav too, but that was the other thing I was trying to remember. Right, and you notice how the GPS says this is your course. The VOR says this is your course. The GPS says that. The GPS says we're right of course, the VOR says we're left of course. Yeah. So we should be following this, because we're on VLOT. Yeah, we should be following that guy. Alright. That's why this is... Port. Yeah. This is a Alright, when we load our approach up here, what is the approach runoff off? What is what? What? What are we going to use to shoot this approach? The GPS. The GPS. So we'll need to switch it back. Yeah. 215 and that's it. Yeah, we will. Chapel, please go. Mike, my number. Get on 300. Get on somewhere. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 1640 and 1 mile. Okay. So we could we could do that. We could go down for the GPS RNAT, RNAT GPS 30. Once we, got out. It, once we break out, we can do the circling at 1640. We got to stay below the clouds, so. though. We got to maintain contact with the runway at all times. Will you break out at 1640? Um, I'm sorry. Will you break out? It's saying it's over cat or broken at the 1500. So uh, No it's not. <laughs> What's the field elevation? Um nine forty one. Okay. Okay, alright. So with so uh, 1,500 above ground, great. Uh, yeah, ground. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, all right. So plus 900, you should break out close to 2,000 feet. Yeah, all right. Okay. That makes sense, right? It does. I guess everything's questionable, huh? Never trust weatherman. Hello, Washington. Show is 499 with the 267-4240. Hello, is the 499 Two Lake. So 307, but we're going to get at 305 for the approach. Uh, I'd say we're close to a changeover point. A lot of people out there in the YouTube world to say, I can't believe this is right. Approach, one, two, four, can't believe five. this is This instructor is making this guy shoot an approach, hand flying it, and blocking instruments in IMC. But That's you're flying better. <laughs> 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 
Strike, go ahead. November 555 Strike, contact Greensboro Approach, 124.35. 24.35, 555 Strike, so long. Armory 39. Greensboro Approach, sir, took 84555 Strike, level 4000. Memory 4555 Greensboro Approach, altimeter 3003. 3003, 555 Strike. See what you did there when you reached up? There you go, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Delta 17. What I'll do to correct that problem, because I got these short arms, is I'll actually rest my arm here. What was that? Rain. What was that? Rain. What? 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 Oh, I just. Uh, we're getting close to you, Lake. I will rest my arm here. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to do my elbow. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I'll rest my arm here, and then I can move, and I'm not gonna. Altimeter three zero zero three. Pushed around now. <laughs> Gotta fly it now. Hey, John, are you up? Wisconsin 3916. Alright. So, how are we gonna enter here, U Lake? U Lake, we're gonna do a uh, uh, fly by. Okay, so we're gonna enter. Alright, so we're gonna approach. Alright, uh, uh, activate approach. Enter. It's more than 90 degree turn. So I got a next turn, it's going to be 209. Let's look at the flight plan and see what it says. Say 307. Two acres, uh, six miles, five miles, five Okay. What does the approach plan say? 305. Okay. Now, contact tower, five miles, final. More than 90 degree turn without a... That's because we were off a little bit. Yes, sir. Let's switch that one over to GPS. And let's make sure that this one, I'm going to hit clear and hold it. Okay, so it's synced up. Right. One three zero. One three zero. So now all we should have to do is hit that V-lock. And this is going to switch up to nav mode. Or GPS. GPS. Okay. Alright, so 3000 at U Lake. I wonder if, uh, if I can go ahead. Four five five Fox Trap, turn right heading at two eight zero. Vector final first course, descend and maintain three thousand. Uh, what was it? Two turn right two eight zero. Turn right to two eight zero. Descend and maintain three thousand for the uh, uh, U Lake intercept for the RNAV GPS runway three zero five five Fox Trap. Let's see if he comes back and corrects me on anything. I think that, that's what I think he was saying. Is that right? 280. Standard rate turn, nice and easy. 280. If you do it smooth, if you basically roll out on west, you can slowly correct from there. Okay. On west, yeah. start my rollout. Yeah, do it, no, do it nice and smooth, nice standard rate. Yeah, turn. Oh, I got it. Oh. There you go, nice and easy. The way it doesn't bounce around inside that kerosene fluid that it uses. 500. Well, let's see, we're uh, 20 and 20 on the fuel tanks. A little bit more there. Right? Uh, there's 27. We'll roll that one out and see what happens. Roll it out there? Yep. Are you dead on 270? Uh, what do you think about it right there? Right there. Yep. And 3000 is what I'm shooting for. Yep. So, when you get there, I would start slowing her down. I'm trying to right now, actually. Alright, so. 5 5 5 5 8 miles from the final first report. Clear for the first, sir. Correct now. 8 miles from the final coach fix, sliding to 8 0. Maintain that 3,000 foot south from the final approach course. Cleared on as runway 30 Martha. Okay, I think I caught most of that. It was uh, a fly heading of uh, 300 and two established on the RNAV uh, for uh, 30 maintain at or above 3,000 foot south from the All right, so until I'm established, I'm going to turn this to 307. Yeah, it's, it's turning. So turn. You need to turn. Alright, so I need, well, I'm going to switch that back. 
November 652. 307. Uh, I flipped that to GPS. Oh, I did. I thought I flipped it already. He did. I touched it first. I'm sorry. I'm Alright, above 3,000. You late? Alright. Number 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, Martinsville, 555 strap. We don't want to cancel yet. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just starting my wheel cancel with him. Alright, so how far off is your... Delta 1749. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set this to 307. Alright, when you do that, look outside. This is a perfect example of what we were talking about on the ground. You see that little cloud layer? You see the little hill? Continue up then having 020 to go. You see the little hill? Alright, uh, left is 080. Yeah, keep it going. Left is 3000 toe established. You see the little hill right there? Five, off the nose? You see the little cloud layer five. above it? I do, I do, yeah. The runway is just beyond that. Okay. So that's why we have a vis visual descent point for a non precision approach. I'm descending to 2600. And then we're going to get glide slope intercept at Upre. 26. 2600. I'm at 27. Delta 7049, contact call 5 mile final. Have a good day. Switching power, you too, Delta 7049. It is 2600. 20. And I'd, give I'd give yourself a little buffer. You can see, almost see the runway too. Alright, so mixture's full. Prop is full, got everything on. Below 132, gear down. What's the standard say? On approaches. What do you get? Um, oh, you mean as far as altitude? Uh, yeah. Can't go below a period. Yeah. yeah right. so give yourself a buffer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't go exact. I would. I would hesitate to go exactly. That way, you give yourself a. My next descent 20 is 20, 20, 2060. Yep. There's 90 on the airspeed. You're gonna use two flight notches today. Or? One. One. Okay. One until I get it made. So okay. I'm ready for takeoff. All right, if I don't see it, it's a uh, straight to 3200. The uh, Hector and then a left on the 215 track to Geneva. How far are you from the runway right now? This is giving me the U play. Look at your chart. Just to add this up. At the bottom there. 1.6, 1.3, 2 .2. Uh, We're about to 2, 4, 5 miles out. Alright, switch over and tell them, hey, we're 5 miles out okay. straight ahead. Blue Ridge traffic, Saratoga 8455 Foxtrot, it's about 5 miles, runway uh, 30, Don the R nav, GPS to uh, 30, Blue Ridge traffic. Alright, at U Boy, I can descend, and I should intercept the uh, line slope, which is coming alive. Yep, coming alive. Yep. What's your heading? 307. Alright. 307. There it is. Why isn't it up here? What happened to that? It probably would be if we zoomed out. Or it could be on the next, on the first page. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I see what you're doing there. You're using that as a marker. All right. Okay. You can go ahead and go down to 26. Got it in sight. Yes, sir. And Greensboro approach. Say it's okay, 455 Foxtrot. We got a visual on runway 30. We're we'll going. Or 51, thanks. Dang it. 451, you're welcome. Turn left, heading 300. Uh, okay. Let's go 300, let's 54. There you go, watch your speed. 
Greensboro approach, set to gate 455 Foxtrot. Got a visual on runway 30 here in Blue Ridge. We'll go ahead and cancel out for it this time. No, 555 Foxtrot, 30 feet. Squawk VFR, change the approved. Good day. Squawk VFR, change the frequencies. Good day. 555 Foxtrot. Alright, now it's a normal landing, huh? 2960. Alright, we're gonna circle land? Yeah, let's do a circle land. See, we broke out. <laughs> Not 2000. So yeah, I mean, it was pretty accurate. A little over 900 foot, even, you know, 1500 overcast, or broken, yeah, it's make sure it's full pumps for everything is on, one notch of flaps in, go ahead and put our second notch in. Uh, it was four knots, man. This one, two, three, zero. Your plane, plenty of runway. Yeah. Blue Ridge traffic's there, took 8455 Foxtrot's on a uh, two-mile final for runway 30, Blue Ridge traffic. 95. 500 feet above the ground. Mixtures full pumps, four, we got three in the green, three notches, five, two poppies, achieving 90. Two poppies. Two poppies. A little bit of a tailwind. Where's the flag at? Yeah. Off on the left. Turning on traffic, Skyhawk 276 Sierra Alpha. Uh, inbound, for DC. Um, see it. Ninety-nines. Hey, Skyhawk 855 Fox Drive, back taxi and runway 30 for the ramp. Blue Ridge traffic. Go ahead. Traffic there, took 8455 Foxtrot, clearly active, Blue Ridge. I don't know, man. I don't think it's flying things for you. Sorry, man, I quit. <laughs> 